Hello Saber Form, Darshad here. Today I got a gigantic review. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sabers to review today. So I'm gonna keep it nice and short here. Uh, first off, I got the what is this? The Initiate V2. Uh, sorry, the Initiate LE V2. Um, this was the free saber, the free saber I got in the um, sale that they had earlier this year. I was hoping for a V3, but this is alright. That's my first V2 Saber. I like it. It's nice and easy to handle. Um, I'm not sure if it's Violet Amethyst or Dark Violet Amethyst. I guess it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but... You know, everybody likes to see the color before getting it and everything else. Um, the downside is I was hoping to get a V3 hilt, like I said, so I could connect this one and my next Saber I'm going to show you, which is uh, a V3 Initiate. Um, like I said, that's all right. Uh, my girlfriend really likes this saber. Um, it's her color anyway, so... Uh, the first thing I noticed was the gold isn't really as noticeable as I thought it was going to be. Um, you have to like look really up close to be able to see it. Let's see if it can adjust there. Um, yeah. But again, that's all right. It's really easy to hold with one hand. Like, I'm not even a left-handed person, but I prefer this in my left hand. Um, anyways, if you're looking for a cheap saber to start out with, start off with, I should say, um, I would definitely suggest either this or uh, one of the Aeon V2s uh, or Dominix V2s. Either way, you really can't go wrong. Anyways, second here, this was the first saber I actually ever ordered, um, which is the uh, Dark Initiate V3. Um, I tried to do some. Uh, weathering by myself and clearly I'm no good at it. It just looks like it's been thrown around and beaten up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> um, again with no sound. Uh, I love this hilt. I have quite a few other ones now and this one I still often come back to just because it's the easiest to swing around. Um, it's got the uh, the 24 inch blade so I don't hit anything when I'm swinging it around. And uh, you know what? This can even be used as a two-handed hilt, which I often use. Um, I'm holding my phone with one hand, so I can't demonstrate that now. But uh, you know, I have medium-sized hands, so I guess you can kind of see there. But anyways, this one—it uh, looks very green in the uh, the video here, but it is Sunrider's Destiny. Um, batteries might actually be a little low on it right now. Um, you know what? I really was excited to get this color, and then I got it, and I was kind of, kind of disappointed by it, honestly. But it's been growing on me ever since. Um, I don't have any other consular green sabers, so this is sort of as close as it gets. And uh, like I said, I've used this one almost nonstop since I got it, so I guess the color has grown on me. Anyway, so there's those two, my two initiates. My next one was part of the first order I got. It was the. Uh, Aeon V3. It uh, it was part of a grab bag. You can see it's got a red button there. Um, it's pretty much the same as the Initiate V3, or the Dark Initiate V3 rather. Um, just a couple extra rings on the top there. Again, craftsmanship second to none. Um, this one, uh, I don't have the right blade in there, but it's red. Blazing red. A lot of people don't like it in the Ultra Edge blade. I kind of do. I just I like the solid color. I mean, it doesn't glow as much as the uh, the mid-grade blades do, but that's all right. Besides, this is just a video. So again, not much to say there. Um, Dominix V3. Uh, again, another grab bag. Um, this one, as you can see by the blue switch, I really like how they do that. Um, uh, blue, Guardian Blue. I absolutely love this color. I don't know if I would, I always thought I would like Arctic Blue a little bit more, but here you go. This is probably my fa favorite saber to look at, or rather to fight with, um, if I'm sparring with somebody. Uh, it's just, you know, I don't want to spar with my really nice looking saber, so this is the one that I go with. And even then, everybody looks at it and it's like, wow, that's a lightsaber. Um, again, no sound, I haven't showed any with sound yet. Uh, Pretty much the same as what I've said with the other two. Same craftsmanship, same same general look, um, except just one's a little small here, and then you got the two big ones. All right, so next off, I'm gonna show you 
this is not the chosen one. This is the um, Master Replicas. Is it Master Replicas? It might be the Hasbro one. Um, the Force FX Vader. And uh, right now, obviously there's no blade in there. Um, the LEDs in the blade, uh, they got damaged. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of dark spots in it. So it's really not worth it. I just wanted to show this one next to my Guardian. Uh, nickel plated guardian which oh my god I love this lightsaber and just to compare the two you can see how much shorter the chosen one is uh, if I get them up like lined up like that and like sure this one's heavy but this one looks and feels like it should be a proper lightsaber um, look in the top there that's just the cap that they have on there I got the blade plug in there right now no no customizations or anything but being able to like I love Darth Vader. I love Obi-Wan Kenobi a little bit more. And honestly, this is the most beautiful thing I have ever looked at. I mean, people love the Graflex, but no, this is it for me. I mean, you got the nice red button there. You got even the little jewel in there. And the light shows through these little holes along the side. Um, oh, the color, by the way. Sentinel yellow. You can see all the colors mixed in there. Um... I wasn't so sure about Sentinel, Sentinel Yellow. It shows up a little bit more orange when I have a blade in it. But uh, yellow is probably one of my favorite colors for uh, lightsabers. And I'll show you an another one that's kind of like Sentinel Yellow uh, later on. Um, the pommel here, the pommel is probably the heftiest part of the blade. It's really heavy. And I mean, this looks like it belongs in a Star Wars movie, does it not? I mean, just unbelievable like incredibly worth the price anyways we'll get rid of that guy um, what do we got next oh uh, my bellicose now this was my first premium saber I ordered um, I got the uh, the gold button here at the top um, I didn't like the the red or the blue or the green buttons they just they look kinda plasticky to me um, and I know that's ironic saying because I have the plastic buttons on here the uh, the guarded buttons but anyways this saber feels like you know something that they would have used on like the battle of Geonosis or something like you know what I mean this one I got in uh, what is this one uh, Adegan Silver I got it with a color disc because I'm not a huge fan of the color disc because I'm still waiting on uh, some Lee filters to come in um, but this one I love just it's like hanging on my belt uh, one of the better show pieces I have um, like the grips and everything just beautiful beautiful uh, okay here comes my favorite saber up until the one I just got for the raffle entry this is the uh oh the Archon <laughs> uh, the Archon version 2.1 um, aka Luke's saber from Return of the Jedi or you know Ben Kenobi's saber what have you um, I didn't get it in consular green like a lot of people wanted me to. I actually decided on Arctic blue, and I can say for certain this is my favorite color. Um, I don't know what it is, the light blue. It's uh, in the right lighting. It looks almost green, but not so much like it does with uh, Sunrider's Destiny. Like you can see the big contrast there between colors. Anyways, um, oh my God, I love this so much. Like. I don't do too much spinning or anything like that. I'm not incredibly talented in that way, but this is one saber that if I ever sent another one in to get sound, it would be this one for sure. Um, I just can't say enough good things about this one. And again, it has the uh, the colored uh, button right there. Now, last up is my raffle entry, which is my very first sound saber. And I mean, I know it took one, two, three, four, five, six. It took seven sabers for me to get to a saber with sound. So. Here we go. I give you the Dark Prophecy V3. Um, first of all, I really wish I got sound with the rest of my sabers because I love this button. Um, it just it looks so Star Warsy, if that's even a word. Um, first off, I was incredibly surprised by the size of this hilt. Like, I can grab that, and it's no problem whatsoever. Like, um, I got the vented pommel. Uh, I could have gotten another one, but I don't know which one would have gone with this. I'm looking at the website, and I think I think maybe the consular pommel. I'm not too sure. Um, 
Anyways, prepare for the sound. Might be a little loud. I got this in fire orange. Guardian blue switch, LED switch there. Um, and without a doubt, I have the uh, what is this? The Star Killer sound font on here. Absolutely in love. I haven't stopped swinging it around. Obviously, with Fire Orange, you only get so many options. Um, so I have Nadigan Silver Flash on Clash. Again, not too noticeable there, but I really, really love this saber. Kind of got to fix the uh, the shutdown sound there, though, but that's all right. So, anyways, guys, that is my review. Um, nice and quick, nothing too in detail. I just wanted to, you know, show everybody the sabers I have, and um, in case anybody wanted an idea of what they look like all up close, then here it is. And that's them. And then, of course, my uh, sound effects Darth Vader, but I put that to the side because, I mean, that's all pieces put together. These are all just works of art, I tell you. Anyways, thanks everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed.